immediately. Thanks, killing. On the poster, it says, warning, boobs in the first second. And there's boobs in the first second, at which point Turkey goes, nice tits, bitch. And that was the first Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, uh, we fast forward to present day, or at least when this movie came out, where a dog is pissing on a Native American token, totem, and it wakes up Turkey. Then immediately after that, it's like, okay, this movie is going to be bad. Like, fantastic, but bad. You've got the sheriff, who takes a sip of coffee, goes, this coffee tastes like shit. You take a dump in it? And his wife goes, as a matter of fact, I did. And then there's a close-up of the coffee pot with the turd inside of it. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. And in stereotypical cliche horror fashion, our main uh, cast is the jock, the redneck, the nerd, the good girl, and the slut. Which, uh, though, instead of a blonde, She's a brunette. So it's like, well, they're starting off strong here with the main cast. Let's fucking do this. And we learn that the reason Turkey comes back is because a Native American necromanced a turkey. And he comes back every 505 years. Not 500 years. 505 years. <laughs> Which is such a random number, but okay, sure. Oh, and one thing. <laughs> One line, which I thought was amazing, talking about the the slut. Uh, one of the characters says to her, your legs are harder to shut than the Jean Bonnet Ramsey case. <laughs> it's so fucked up, but it's amazing. So to Turkey, the just ridiculousness of this movie. At one point, uh, Turkey, he hitchhikes. And the guy, of course, tries to fuck the turkey because why the hell not? But then Turkey just pulls a shotgun out of completely nowhere, which is fantastic. Uh, at one point, he <laughs> he kills somebody. Where's their face? Where's their face? And the daughter of this person is acting like the turkey is actually her father. Doesn't notice a thing different. Not the fact that her father is now like maybe two feet off the ground, is round as hell, is full of feathers. Apparently, so is her father. And another thing, <laughs> that's how ridiculously amazing this movie is. Um, the jock's parents are, of course, killed by the turkey because turkey's on a rampage. And instead of being like, oh my god, my parents are dead, I loved my parents, oh my god, he goes, oh my god, no more pumpkin pie. No more cranberry sauce. <laughs> He's more upset about the death, or about the fact that there's no more Thanksgiving dinner than his, the death of his parents. Oh, hang on. We got more. I got more for the, the slut. This is just, they really, really went into her. Um, she just finds this random guy after getting home, and they're, they're fucking from behind because, you know, you know, so he can't, she can't see him. Out of nowhere, Turkey comes in, kills the guy, starts starts fucking her and <laughs> says you just got stuffed and just <laughs> uh, amazing but wait there's more the redneck guy he's more upset that he didn't get to fuck her than he is than the fact that his friend is dead <laughs> These people, their priorities, man, they are fantastic. Towards the end of the movie, after they think they kill Turkey, someone goes, let's go watch movies at Kristen's. Kristen is the good girl, and she's the one who had her father's face ripped off by Turkey and was completely tricked at the fact that Turkey was her father. But, um, so the moral of the story is, hey, let's go watch movies while your dad is laying dead, faceless, in the kitchen. Again, priorities. So... Thanks, Killing. This is an amazing movie. <laughs> like, it, no, I'm not really amazing. It's amazingly bad, but that's what makes it so fun. Uh, it's actually not terribly shot, but it is very terribly acted. Like, the acting is absolutely atrocious. The special effects also, not very good, but Turkey actually looks pretty cool. Um, like, by today's standards, it's it's shit, but, but just kind of like the puppetry of the turkey, it's actually pretty well done, I think. But as a whole, Thanks, Killing is, it's... In terms of, like, being just a movie, like, filmmaking, it's a piece of holy shit. 
It really is. But in terms of just being fun, it's just, it's one of the most fun bad horror movies you're going to watch. But I still give Thanksgiving a four. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see a new craptacular horror review every week. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or if you have a film you'd like to see reviewed in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.